The Energy Efficiency Training Program aimed to help New South Wales transition to an energy efficient, low carbon future and to help businesses and the community use energy more wisely. The program was also unique in that it made all of the courses and resources publicly available. And in fact, we've had downloads from as far away as South Africa and from Europe and Asia. The training courses and resources, for example, lighting, heating and ventilation and air conditioning, are continuously updated to suit industry needs and delivered across New South Wales. The training course that we undertook with the Office of Environment and Heritage was all about uh, getting our, our operations teams, which include our maintenance contractors, to understand where energy was being used. This project really gave us the opportunity to make the training building specific, so we could talk to the operations managers in the building with their contractor maintenance teams, so that we can make it most relevant to those teams. The MLC Centre is one of five key assets that took part in the training program and is made up of a large commercial tower and a retail precinct. The training program provided us um, the skills to assess the data that was coming from our systems so we could look at the base load of our buildings and identify projects where we could reduce periods and reduce base load have a massive effect on the buildings. It also allowed us to look at spikes in closer to real time for us to be able to address those peaks. Previously, the data that we were getting from our systems was always very uh, reactive. Uh, it could be a month out, which didn't really allow us time to respond. We can measure the changes in energy use. Over a 10 year program now of energy efficiency, of which this program was a part, we've seen a 38% reduction in energy per square metre. That means in 2014 alone we avoided $25 million from our electricity and gas contracts. So the courses we developed through the training program were targeting three levels. So the first level was senior executives and operation managers and that was mainly focusing on helping contextualise energy efficiency, the strategic advantages and the business case. We also did uh, uh, continuing professional development programs for uh, accountants in particular and we had a large program where we integrated energy efficiency across a large number of courses in our postgraduate and undergraduate business degree. Well the benefit existed on several levels. First of all you've got inputs from lots of different stakeholders so what energy efficiency is for Ernst & Young is perhaps quite different for TAFE or for Westpac. And so when we developed the project to get all those inputs into it that enable us to develop a much better project. An example would be to get a much greater understanding of why there's a, a gap between the knowledge of energy efficiency with engineers as opposed to accountants or business managers. What made the program so successful was largely, I think, the strong reporting guidelines that we had back to Office of Environment and Heritage and the support they gave us to um, meet those deadlines. And then the other really important feature was the design of the program in the fact that the energy efficiency case studies and general teaching materials were embedded into the undergraduate and postgraduate teaching materials here at UTS. One of the good legacies out, out of the project is that the accounting business students, we found they love energy efficiency. That is that when we give them, particularly if we give them an assignment or an activity that's really tangible, they get into it. They love it.